Ladies and gentlemen, Jake the Viking has finally responded to Jake Weddle. If you do not understand what I'm talking about, Jake the Viking is someone who's been a part of the Mr. Beast situation very early on. He was the one who said that Jimmy knew about Ava Chris Tyson's crazy history, and it ended up coming out that Jake the Viking had a brother-in-law that was arrested a long time ago and charged with doing something pretty horrendous with a young person, right? And now Jake Weddle would make a video talking about Jake the Viking, and Jake has finally spoken out. The Viking Jake has spoken out, but it might not be the uh, response that we were all expecting. Let's just get into it. This video is Jake Weddle is a Liar, the True Story About the Mountain by Jake the Viking Franklin, former Mr. Beast staff member. His brother-in-law is a convicted offender. A convicted offender, you know what I mean? Um, and so it caused this big drama where this guy was saying Chris Tyson was a offender. Not convicted, though. But um, it's quite ironic because his own brother-in-law was a offender. I really didn't want to make this video. I've been sitting here for like 15, 20 minutes just like, I don't want to do this. Because I don't want to turn into this just bitching back and forth between who I thought was a friend, Jake Weddle, and I. Um... I'm calling you out because you, you can't keep my name out your mouth for whatever whatever reason. I mean, well, I mean, you said it yourself as political in your first video, which uh, cool politics. But like yeah, so for context regarding that statement, Jake Weddle is um, very clearly like more left leaning, um, probably a socialist because he says like he hates money and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and this guy's a little more conservative. He um, has called out Chris Tyson for being. Um, trans and things like that in the past from what I know let's let's let let's let that get in the way of the bigger picture here we both have our issues with the beast crew but yet you want to come at me which I don't I don't get I don't understand but whatever dude you want your you want your time that's cool bro I mean like I thought we were cool I thought we were boys I mean if you go back in our Instagram messages you know I, I showed you nothing but love and love and respect dude and like I, I can pull it up here so you don't have to worry about me screen like screenshotting and editing shit since you like to post AI. They got messages. And you know, <laughs> that's funny. You like to post AI. That's in context of the video we just watched where Jake Weddle showed an AI Mr. Beast clip. That's right. I got that sent to me. And you know what? That was AI. Video was good. I was like, did you know anything about my situation? You're like, I appreciate you, dude. Nah, man, for real, we were all blindsided. Yeah, I talked to Connor when he tells me what's going on. I'm just mind blown. Yeah, oh well, hope, I'm hoping to get my own YouTube shit off the ground. You know, we're sitting here like actually chatting and having like decent conversation. And then after you posted your the first video, I, I literally said, I'm proud of you for saying what you did. You know what I'm saying? Like, and okay. I, then I finished it off here if you ever need me, buddy. And you've seen it Friday. So I just, I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah. Well, anyway, this video titled Jake Weddle's a liar because he is. Um, left out some very important, crucial details about the mountain trip since he wants to pull that one in. And blame me for our friend Dustin. I'll, I'll use names, unlike you. Um, our friend Dustin falling and breaking his leg. Or not his leg, yeah, his ankle. I'm sorry. Falling and breaking his ankle on uh, Grandfather Mountain because that's where the video take place. So let's let's go ahead and break down the entire story um, since there's a lot of misinformation being spread on the internet. So let's take care of that. So the video, 24 hours on a mountain. We did it right here in North Carolina on okay. Grandfather Mountain. There was 11 of us. Uh, Jake Weddle was the director 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 wow director of that set which means he was in charge of everything which guess what that means clean up damn that's crazy uh there's 11 of us we had delaware delaware's assistant jake weddle jimmy chris chandler me connor does this Garrett, sound okay 1.25 mike connor and dustin there we go. okay there we go. Okay. Dustin, yeah so we had 11 cool. of us on the mountain it's about a two hour two and a half hour hike up the mountain because we're actually staying on top of grandfather mountain and there's several parts on this mountain where if you were to take one step to your left or right you're falling several hundred feet to your death Okay. And of course, we're all taking up a bunch of camera equipment. My job, since he wants to pull jobs in the- What's going on? Jake the Viking is making a video about Jake Weddle. Jake Weddle is the guy who was in Dogpack's second video. Um, and made a bunch of claims about um, Mr. Beast and Jake the Viking. And so now he's made a video to reply to Jake Weddle. This as well. My job was camera. I was talent and camera on this, which is what I did for the most part. So my job was to film and then also be in front of the camera for parts. Uh, 11 of us carried a bunch of stuff up, um, you know, put bags and tents along with various items that we would need later on. 
um, when we finally made the two hour hike to our little camping spot, Delaware and his assistant left to go back down the mountain um, to get more. Delaware is his brother-in-law who is a registered offender. That's who Delaware is. Stuff. Yeah, there, was supposed to, there was supposed to be more stuff. Um, upon them getting to the bottom of the mountain, they were met by, what is it, National Park? The park rangers, whatever they are, uh, and said, hey, you don't have permission to film here because uh, Mr. Jake Weddle, director of the crew, did not get the proper documents filled out and signed for us to have permission to film on the mountain. Okay. So Delaware and his assistant had to handle that business with the park rangers to get the papers fi uh, filled out and signed so that the rangers wouldn't come up there and kick us off the mountain because Jimmy wanted to do this video 24 hours on a mountain. So now do a math. There was 11. Now there's only nine people on the mountain. Why do we keep calling the PDF Delaware? Um, there's conflicting ideas. Some people were saying it's because he was banned from Delaware. Some people were saying it's because he's from Delaware. I do like your idea. Nobody calls Jimmy North Carolina. Yeah, to me, it does seem weird. We get a call, say they got to deal with that. We're like, all right, cool, whatever. We don't need the extra stuff. We'll we'll ride it. We'll get all, we'll get our content. We'll be good to go. Uh, we do the skit with Pizza Mike where uh, Mike delivers the pizza on top of the mountain. Um, we do all that. We go into the next day and we're getting everything packed up, ready to leave. And Jimmy, Chris, Chandler, Jake Weddle, and Pizza Mike all take it upon themselves to descend the mountain, not carrying a single thing. <laughs> that is correct. Not carrying a single thing. Um, so again, there's nine of us on the mountain with 11 people's worth of stuff. Five people have now left the mountain not carrying anything, um, which has now left four people on the mountain, me, Garrett, Connor, and Dustin on top of the mountain with 11 people's worth of stuff. Again, this is a two and a half hour track. Who about, who cares about trash on a mountain? This is low hanging fruit. Yeah. Uh, the video is four, five, 15 minutes long. So maybe he eventually gets into more up and down, uh, with some very dangerous elements to it. Um, Jake Weddle quite conveniently left that part out where he did not help carry anything down, even though he's the director and he's supposed to be help be in charge of everything, including cleanup, but he did not do that. So now it's just me, Connor, Garrett, Dustin on top of the mountain. We're trying to figure out how we're going to get as much down as possible. And we kind of all came to the, uh, agreement. I, I did lead the, I did lead the conversation 100%. I mean, I'll admit that, but at the same time, it's what else are we supposed to do? There's a shitload of stuff on top of this mountain. It's a two and a half hour trek. We can't carry yeah. everything. Um, Jake would also left out the part because again, he wasn't there. So he just made the shit up. Um, me, Connor, Garrett, and Dustin were all carrying a lot of stuff. A lot. <laughs> I think I had two or three book bags. I had two tents. I also had the camera gear. Um, Connor and Garrett had the same. Dustin had the same. We were all carrying a lot of stuff. The rest of the stuff got left on the mountain. I don't know where this whole two mile trail of trash came from. You weren't there. I don't know how you got two mile. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you're lying for this, but whatever. Okay. And so we started our descent down the mountain with all of this stuff. And it is a very dangerous trek down. Again, there's moments on this, on this path where if you take one or two steps, in the wrong direction you're you're done um so we scaled down the mountain it's kind of um, scary obviously me and it was me and garrett and connor kind of got away from dustin uh dustin is a little bit more heavier set out of shape you know whatever you want to call it um and there's this one part of the mountain where it's like a v and it's on a steep incline going up it was pretty easy but there's a lot of loose rocks and coming down it was terrifying especially with all the stuff we're carrying it was absolutely terrifying um and at this point this is where dustin lost his footing and fell therefore breaking his ankle you know, um, I'm trying to remember, I think he called someone to alert them of his injury. Um, but at this time, Delaware and his assistant were back. So Delaware's assistant made, went up the half the mountain, excuse me, went up half the mountain to get to Dustin to try and figure out what was going on, what the problem was. Well, we're still like making our way down with all this, with all this gear. And then they go back down the mountain. They're able to move a lot faster because they're not carrying anything. Um, oh. Uh, I have to question Jake the Viking as I worked on numerous film sets as a runner, lighting, ETC. Are we supposed to know who Dustin is? Yeah, I don't know. I guess these are all just employees like camera people, mic people. They get back down the mountain. He still they, talks they fast. They call the emergency people. Um, and so then a this team shows up to then try and get up the mountain and see if they could just carry Dustin down. But because of how intense this trail was they thought they ultimately decided that they could not carry dustin down and so that the only way to get him off the mountain was via airlift uh so we had to call in an airlift to come in and uh scoop dustin up and carry him and get him off the mountain and he had to go to the hospital why does this um, have to do with anything i think it was, i think it was for a fact he broke his ankle i'm that just looking sucks. at my camera my, my blank monitor by the way if anyone's like thinks i'm reading a script i have a blank monitor right in front of me um and so then we get, we get down the mountain and it's like, dude, there's, there's a bunch of shit still on the mountain, but it was like, dude, we can't like, we're not going back up. We're leaving. We're done. And of course, you know, Jimmy, Chris Chandler, Jake Weddle, pizza, Mike had already left. They would, so they weren't even on the mountain anymore. They got in their car and left. Jake Weddle left that part out. 
He's so worried about his friend, but he didn't wait at the mountain for his friend. No one He's does. Left. No, literally. Crazy. Uh, so then we leave. Um, we're kind of like, whatever. And then I think the next week, um, I get a phone call. I wonder if I have the text messages still. Let me see this. What was his name? Yeah, why is he not discussing Delaware or any of the serious claims? It's like all these Mr. Beast people are coming out and they're like, Okay, it's time I call out Jake Weddle because one time Jake Weddle was supposed to buy pizza for the crew, but he didn't actually. I was the one who did not buy the pizza. So here's a 20 minute video of me talking about buying the pizza. <laughs> and you're just like, geez. I got text messages somewhere, but I get like they tell me that, like, I think a park ranger is going to reach out to me or something like that. They're like, hey, park ranger's reaching out. Am I, was it cousin Jimmy? Is he the one who fucking texted me that? No, if it's not that, camera cuts look looking sexy too. Cut this. No, okay, so I don't have it on this one. I have to pull up my other phone. But I, I got a text for, I forgot who it was. I got a text message from someone saying that the park rangers were like, oh, we're going to be in contact with me. And what happened was, obviously the park officials went on the mountain, found the trash, and then reached out to uh, Mr. Beast LLC. And we're like, hey, why'd y'all leave all this trash? Because we were able to pinpoint two and two together. This is obviously your, like, your stuff. And they immediately deflected it to the four of us. Right, we're there for a Mr. Beast video. Okay, they immediately deflected it to the four people that were that were left on top of the mountain to carry everything down. Me, gotcha. uh, Garrett, Connor, and Dustin. Okay, that's that's who Mr. Beast LLC deflected all of it to. Saying it was all it was all our job to clean up the mountain. And it's like what? And it, it was all on us because this was also during Team Trees. Okay, and so I get a call from the um, the park people, and I'm like, yeah, we left trash up there, but at the same time. The only reason I'm there on the mountain is for this person. You know, I was employed. I was on, I was employment and our, my, we were doing a, a, a job on the mountain and I'm there is for this guy and they left without carrying anything down. So what were we supposed to do? We can't carry all that stuff down. And the guy was like, well, I feel like I'm being lied to. And I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> so, so they did an investigation, but then it came down to <laughs> Mr. Beast LLC was able to deflect. I lost the point. Yeah, I think it's funny how when we watch Jake the Viking videos, um, I can pause it, either this guy or Jake Weddle, I can pause it like 50 times, and it doesn't really mess anything up because no one knows what's happening anyways. You know what I mean? <laughs> the charge is on to, what they call it? Who can control their family member's lifestyle? I don't get why this one gets blamed for Delaware. Because he defends Delaware. It doesn't really have to, he didn't, you can't choose your brother-in-law. Like you can't make your family not do crimes, but whenever they get called out for their crimes, you can't come online and be like, well, I personally think the girl was a liar and, um, a clout chaser. And actually he's a good guy because my niece knows this guy. And that's pretty much what he did. It's on his Twitter still. What? I can't think of the name. It's there. Oh, Rubber Duck. Rubber Duck LLC, which is their think tank that they use for video ideas. It went, it got deflected to them. And then it was going to be we, me, Connor, Garrett, and Dustin were going to get charged. But me, Connor, and Garrett got together and said that we were going to take the blame and not have Dustin take anything because Dustin had broken his ankle. I was like, it was like, like he's already been through enough, realistically. So me, Connor, and Garrett had uh, court ordered, so we had to go to court. So we drove up, I forgot what day it was, but we drove up to Appalachian uh, Boone to go to court for our hearing. And we have been, um, Mr. Peace LLC or Rubber Duck, whichever one was in charge at this point, had supplied us with a lawyer. And so we get there and we meet the lawyer for the first time, day of our court. And he doesn't even know why he's there. He doesn't even know like what we're doing and i'm just like so we had to sit there and in like 10 or 15 minutes explain to him the entire story of what happened and it was like what? why are you just now learning about this bro like why are you just now like this makes no sense and i remember uh because me and me and connor rode up together and it was just like what but anyway uh so we tell him that and then we're able to get it um like like 15 minutes later we we're able to get the court date extended and so we drove all the way if you didn't know from greenville to boone it's like a five hour drive so we drove all the way up there for nothing uh and then we get a call saying that um we were all gonna have to do 24 hours community service which we did um so we took care of that and that's it and that was the end of it 
And so then we have Weddle coming out, making it like a big deal. Like it was all my idea. It was all my fault. And it's like, dude, you were the director of the of the set. If anyone knows. Yeah, not carrying anything on a mountain versus defending a PDF. Defending as someone as pathetic as his bro-in-law is suspicious and makes him look bad. Yeah, I said the same thing. He he lost all his credibility from when he was doing the stuff where he was like, Jimmy knew, Mr. Beast knew, I told you more stuff was going to come out, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so he's pretty much talking about how they got a littering offense. And the video's no, almost over, and I thought it was going to be more than just this. Director's the main guy in charge, which means you're also in charge of everybody's of what everyone's doing, and also the setup and cleanup and breakdown of the set, and you just left. And so I don't know, I don't know why you're coming to me. So and I just saw your video today where you said you ended my career. No, you didn't, bro. I've been doing this for the four and a half years now since I got fired. I ain't going nowhere. You, you mean... I don't know why you're coming to me. It makes no fucking sense. Thought we were boys. This is such a Definitely nothing not. video. I guess you got to throw my name around to get money. You try to say you're not doing this for money, but, you know, as soon as your YouTube channel gets monetized, you have to post a clickbait video of Jimmy. You're constantly posting your Patreon. <laughs> and then you're constantly posting, like, I can finally afford half my rent. You're doing it for money, and it's so blatantly obvious. And stop. <laughs> there. Do your normal content. Such a nothing burger of a video. Address your brother-in-law content have your fun time bro stop stirring drama with like me because it's the fuck that i do i haven't talked to you since those messages which was let's pull them back up on my phone real quick the last time me and you actually talked was november 24th of 2020 right there and i said dude adsense was a nightmare for me to figure out and you said okay i think i got it i had to use safari instead of chrome isn't everyone doing everything for money yeah pretty much if none of these guys wanted money, they'd be posting all these videos to like Twitter or something and make like five cents. To get this error to go away, like Google, you own Google. Why can't I use Chrome? I was like, you also need to customize your link channel too. I was like, make it Jake Weddle. Oh, you're right. And that's the last time we talked. I messaged you January 9th of 2020. I said, oh dear, you liked it. That dude is so weird. May 2nd of 2023. I said, this no, uh, I don't even know what was response to it was response to your story. Oh, you mentioned, wait, mentioned you in their story. And I said, no, uh, so I don't even know what it is, dude, but <laughs> anyway, that's, that's the truth of the matter. That's, that's the actual mountain story. Y'all can believe me or not. I really don't care. That's the truth of it. I didn't need a script in front of me or anything. So whatever, dude, I'm just tired of the bullshit. I'm trying to go on and do my own thing. Like I've been doing for the past four and a half years <laughs> I'm based. and now I'm getting dragged back into this drama. So. I kind of did it myself with the whole calling Chris out thing. And then Jake Weddle calls me transphobic because we see different political views, but whatever, man. Address the brother-in-law. Why are you defending brother-in-law that likes minors? Address a real thing. You wasted 15 minutes of my life. Give me it back. Jake responded. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you say? All right, we're recording. I did on Twitter, and he already went to court about it. Cope. <laughs> Your Twitter statement sucked, and you got ratioed by Optimus, of all people. Make a video. Cringe Viking, I know, right? And that's about it for the video. Obviously, that was a nothing burger. Nothing happened. He didn't explain anything. Nobody cares what happened on the mountain. People want to know the real questions, like... Your brother-in-law, who was an offender working in a child-friendly company like the Beast, um, you know, organization. Uh, the only reason I'm uploading this is because he did delete this video. It was here. Obviously, I'm sorting by latest. It should be right there. But he deleted the video. So if it does come back up, there you go. Hopefully, you guys can watch it. If not, let this video serve an, uh, as an archive for uh, Jake the Viking's dumbest, least interesting video ever it added nothing to the context it wasn't needed it was a nothing burger it wasn't needed it didn't add anything to this situation as a whole um anyways let me know what you guys thought down below maybe i missed something maybe i wasn't paying attention <laughs> you know like and subscribe and i'll see you guys very soon peace out